Hey, what's going on internet? In this video, we're gonna learn how to create a double exposure sequence here inside of After Effects. Creating the double exposure effect requires you to take two different images and combine them together to make it look like one unique object. And ultimately it allows you to create some visually pleasing graphics for your After Effects project. So if you're ready to create something awesome, please drop a like on this video as it helps us out tremendously and let's get started. Always remember you can download our project files for free if you wish to have some of these assets or just follow along. So the first thing we need to talk about is how to actually create the double exposure effect here inside of After Effects. So we're working with images. The only suggestion that I have is that your base image, which is gonna be our subject here, actually be a picture rather than a video, but your landscape or whatever you wanna put inside of the subject can be video. Now, if you wanna execute a proper double exposure look, you're gonna to have to actually cut out your subject from the background. And vice versa, if you have a landscape, you're gonna to need to cut out maybe the sky as well. Very easy to do this. I'll quickly show you how to do it correctly. So we're actually gonna go ahead and use Adobe Photoshop to cut our image out because it's a lot easier to do it in Photoshop. However, if you don't have Photoshop, uh, I was just using the roto brush uh, and painting over your subject. But in Adobe Photoshop, it's really easy. All you need to do is go to uh, select and click on subject. And this will create a selection around your subject inside of your photo. And then all you need to do is come here to the bottom where it says layer mask and go ahead and add that. And now we cut out our subject from a background fairly easy. And then when you're done, you go to file export and you can do a quick export as PNG. And then we want to cut out the sky from our landscape image if you're working with this type of images. And the reason why you want to cut out your landscape image from the sky, for example, is so it can blend very easily, say at the top of our head here. Uh, it's just going to look much more seamless. So to do this in Photoshop, go to select, click on sky and this will create a selection for your sky. But this time you're gonna hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard and select the layer mask icon and that will remove the sky fairly easy. And then once again, go to File, Export and Quick Export as PNG. All right, so I've imported my two photos here. I'm gonna remove the original photos from this and bring them into our composition. So once you import your cutout images here inside of After Effects, we can now start creating a double exposure effect. So what we'll do is make sure our landscape photos underneath our subject and you'll toggle switch to the modes until you see the track mat and then set the track mat to your subject photo. And there it is, it takes the form of our subject. But I specifically would like to have this mountain coming out the top of the head only. So what I'm gonna do is take our subject photo and go to edit duplicate, turn that layer back on and I'm gonna grab the pen tool here and I'm going to just create a mask on my subject where I wanna actually keep the original detail of say his face and maybe a little bit of his shirt. And then I'm gonna hit F on my keyboard for mass feather and just feather this out by a little bit. Then I'm gonna take my landscape photo. I can hit S on my keyboard for scale, scale it down by a little bit. I can move it in place. I can also hit R on my keyboard for rotation and rotate it by a touch so I can get it in there in the perfect angle. You know, I think that was pretty cool. So we have this nice seamless cut of our mountains in our head. And the reason why it looks seamless is because we removed the sky from our mountains image. So if you have a sky or any other pixels hanging out there, it's not gonna look seamless. But I also wanna be able to fill in the bottom of our image. So I'll take our landscape photo. I'll just quickly duplicate it, go to edit, duplicate, and I'll move it down here, hit R on my keyboard for rotation, maybe rotate it the other direction. So now our mountain's creating the bottom portion of our double exposure, but it's also cutting off the top here. So what we need to do is make sure that layer is selected and just mask out the top part. So we keep our original mountain, hit M for mask path, and set the mask path to subtract. And there we have our double exposure set up here in After Effects, and now we can animate it and make it look pretty cool. So what we'll do is we'll select our landscape photos, we'll hit P and Shift S for position and scale, we'll add a keyframe for both of these, we'll move forward in time and we can adjust the scale of these by a little bit and then also reposition it. So this will allow the image to move if you wish to do that. Now, if you have video instead of a landscape, well, that's gonna look animated on its own already. So you might not wanna do anything. When it's all said and done, you can have a nice subtle animation like this. Now, I really wanna take this next level and put together a nice scene. So I'm gonna show you how to quickly do that uh, right now. Before we move further into the video, we have a sponsor and that's us. If you use After Effects or Premiere Pro, then be sure to check out our Motion Duck extension, which has over 20,000 editable templates for your projects. For example, you can browse, import and edit templates all from the Motion Duck extension. So you'll be able to save hours of time on every project while producing high quality work. You can also download our free 100 template pack with the links in the description below. And if you purchase anything from our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to layer new solid. And I suggest using bright backgrounds with double exposures. So white or anything close to being a bright color looks good for a background. Put that underneath. 
So we'll take our double exposure layers and go to uh, layer pre-compose, call it double exposure, click OK. Position it wherever you would like in your side of your composition. One thing I suggest doing, taking the original, you know, landscape image that you used, bring it into your composition and use it as a nice sort of background image. So you can come here, like lower the opacity by hitting T on keyboard. And this will blend nicely with the white background. Feel free to type out a couple titles, but one animation preset that I find that looks fantastic for double exposure titles is underneath animation presets. You go to text and you can grab blur and fade in and apply this animation preset to any titles that you have. And this animation just looks really nice and I like it a lot. So feel free to explore some of those animation presets, but I think for double exposure, that looks really good. So another thing I like to do is add in some other elements into our scene. So I have this snow here, which you can get for free if you download a project file, the links in the description. But this is inside of our motion designers pack, along with a thousand other templates that you can just drag and drop into any project. So I can import these elements into our scene and it makes a massive difference. Now, another thing that's gonna make a massive difference in our scene is movement. So I'll go to layer new null object. So I'm gonna go ahead and parent everything to, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is select everything except for the null object and parent it to the null. And I'll hit S on my keyboard for scale. And I can move forward in time and kind of just push into our scene or push out depending on what you want to do. So feel free to add other graphics and even an opening transition to your scene to help bring more impact to your work. All the elements that we're using here are from our motion designers pack. So be sure to check that out in the link in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. We post multiple post-production tutorials every single week and always be creating.